Hello everyone, I am Eva Hassan from GFX Academy and today we will talk about two important notes that we face a lot in Nuke, which is uh, concerning about time. Let's have a look at these two nodes, the time offset node and the time clipping node. What is the difference between these two nodes? When to use a certain node in 2D system in Nuke or 3D system in Nuke, which is suitable where and why to do that. So, let's start together. We have here a very simple video, just about counting numbers. I found it in YouTube, it's really nice. So let's take for example the time clip or time offset. Let's start with time offset. So what is this node is about? This node here, time offset, it's from the name. It's just offsetting time. When you want to offset the time not starting with zero. Here my clip is starting from zero to 164 so the animation is starting from the beginning suppose that I don't want that I just need uh, from 0 to about 10 or 20 frames just to be fro frozen no animation at all so I need to be offset here so let's for example make it about 20 frames so here if I start from the beginning and just go you will see at the first 20 frames no animation at all so as you see here it's no animation and start animation after 20 frames so starting from 21 before that it's no animation you can also use this node in order to reverse time so you can uh, in spite of starting from 7 6 and so on just reversing see so you have a different look, a different animation here. So it's very very simple as you see. You can use it while doing this. You can use it in your drop sheet while opening your node of course because when you close it or just hide it like that you will not see any sign of this node here. So when I open my time offset here I can just do whatever I want. I can offset that node as you see. Very very simple. Nice. But what the other nodes that I can do the same function and other uh, options here. I have here the time clip. Let's see the time clip here. Time clip, as you see here, it have more than this option. You can fade in in the first frames, you can fade out at the last frames. So, for example, I don't want um, this about 15 or 20 or maybe 10, the first 10 frames to be fade in. So, let's make, say that I want the fade in at about 10 frames or see so it began to start from darken into my clip until it finished the same way I can do the fade out okay so you can fade in fade out your clip as you like also you can just um, freeze your video as certain frame range Starting from zero, ending for example about 90. See, so I don't have any data here because it ends at 90, and after 90, I don't have any data. So the frame range it's like clipping your clip, cutting your clip. You don't want any information out after 90 frames. So after that, after the 9th frame, it will be black. I don't want. To see anything you can change this option to be pouncing to be loop to be hold just no any animation as you see okay and the same options at the beginning frame for example I want 
um, about 15 here. Okay, so before 15, it will be black or pouncing or loop or hold. So you can change it as you like. As you see here, it's holding and then after 90, holding again. So you can changing this options as you like. So let's make it default and zero and zero here. Okay. Oh, sorry. <laughs> um, yeah. The frame range. Nice. You have also here some frame options. Like, like suppose that I want this clip just to start at um, 30. I don't want it to start from 0, but I want it to start from, from 30. So, when I'm for example, um, mm -mm, standing here, okay, and come at that point and say start at, start at 30. See, now I have here, before 30 it's nothing, it's just black. And after 30 it began to start my clip from the beginning. It's like an offset, okay, so here start offset a little bit different because you hear offset about 30 frames let's make it about 10 let's make it about 15 as long as you want so this option here is the same like this option of the time offset and the nice thing here is let's delete this or let's delete it at all Okay, the nice thing here, when you go to your um, top sheet and come to your time clip here and come to this option or this nude and just take it and begin to offset yourself, you will see that you have here an offset. The option of offset began to appear. Now that... Uh, not that only thing, but you have also, let's come here, and the beginning, zero. Like that. If you don't want to start it from zero, and you want to start it from 23 at that frame, you can come here at the beginning and just take clip cutting like you see here so I'm here cutting and just say start from that frame so I can control my time clip in my dub sheet very nice back back um, I found also here some expression if you know some expressions like for example frame um, if you know that expression, okay, so it will not have animation, just this frame, but I don't want this, of course. So you can use any uh, expressions you want. About the original range, it's just telling you that this is your range here. I can change it, I can do whatever you want here. Uh, it gives me 800, uh, 100, sorry, that's because I'm cutting my clip like that, so it's not like the beginning here. I just to have here nothing, so let's make it like before, like that, and just okay, it's not clipping. Okay, so it's not 100, so let's make it input. Oh, yeah. So here, from here, I now understand that my clip is just 100, it's not 160, 164, as I thought. Because this 
it just reads my original um, read node very nice so I have here two nodes that I can use in order to control my time cutting clipping starting changing frames adding certain effects like fade in or fade out uh, I can just control my clips very very nice but keep in mind you can use these effects really nice in your 3d world inside Nuke, but not both you can use one node only in 3d but the both of nodes you can use it in 2d system how let's have a look here i have a very simple animation a very simple scene a camera scan line render let's have a look here i have as you see uh, camera and cards and everything now i i want to make for example a clipping at this first card okay so let's take the first card here and let's add a time clip or oh, let's uh sorry time offset let's start with time offset okay and let's add it here for example so it's add this one i think yeah let's i take it here for my first one so let's clear my property and just open the time offset and then i want to offset about 30 frames see so i can see here the result inside my 3d system see so my clip here began to offset and i see the results really nice as you see here okay I can also control all my scene. Let's take it, Shift Control X, and take it here down. And let's have a look. So here I want to see. I have here thirty frames frozen or offset. Let's reverse so I have the same animation, the same look for all of them. Let's hide this here. D. See? So I can control all my scenes, all my cards. Let's just have a space here. very nice now let's use uh, in spite of time offset let's use the time clip here and let's connect my time clip let's go to 3d let's start to change anything here for example let's for example mm -mm -mm. offset my frame about 50 or about thirty. now i see here a result let's reverse So I can use my time offset here in my 3D system. Very nice. Let's come here and fade in about 10 frames. And let's start. Let's make it about 20 because I don't see anything here. See? I don't see anything here. Oh my god. Why is that? Mm -hmm. Let's try this frame range. And make it about here to about 20 see 
So I am asking here to start from 20. But it's not starting. It's not. Let's make it about zero back again. Let's start it from 50. Nice. Black before. Before 50, it should be black. Complete black. But here make it about 100 or 90 like before. Remember, when we do 90 before, we see here all of that was like black. As you see here, not every option in my time clip node is performed in a very nice way in my 3D system inside Nuke. So it's not a good option to use time clip inside uh, geometries or 3D system. So it's very very cool to use time offset. It's it's really dealing nice with cards, with scenes, with everything inside 3D. But time clip is just dealing with my nodes, with my 2D system. And if you can see any changes in your 3D system inside Nuke here, adjust with the same options of time offset here. See, my offset, my reverse, I see it very well. But the other change is not changing very well as before, as we done here. So, if you see here, that's we're in uh, 127. And let's take the same option here. Just pick it up. And remember, here's the look, the frame. And just take the same one here and let's have a look see now i have here different frame from 3d inside sorry inside 2d so time clip is for 2d system time offset is for 3d system of course you can use both of them as we saw before in your 2d system with nuke but in 3d it would be better to deal with time offset only. I hope you find this tip nice to you and just add to your inf information about Nuke. And let's meet together next time, inshallah, with another tip, another info about Nuke in the lovely blog. Thank you and goodbye.